blockchain system that we have designed on Ethereum for identity management and uh, background verification. So let's quickly go to the demo. Yeah, so the whole idea of this uh, solution is that uh, each individual has control over his identity documents and details and be able to share it, uh, which can help uh, organizations or banks use it for EKYC and other uh, things. So let's quickly go to the solution. So what we've done is this is called one ID, which is one identity that you can use for multiple things. So the, the, the whole process starts with an individual creating his digital wallet in which he or she is able to store the identity details. For the purpose of this demo, we've uh, identified driving license as a document that can get stored. Let's look at how the wallet is created. So this uh, system has been uh, designed uh, on Ethereum and uh, we have uh, we have used solidity to write a smart contract and uh, we are we are hosting it on uh, rinky b testnet and uh, we're signing uh, signing the transaction using metamask yeah so once you enter the details you click on create wallet like i said through metamask this particular transaction is getting signed so that the hash gets created so this is the hash that gets created, that's got created for the transaction, which is to create the wallet. So if you click on the transaction or the hash, you see the information about, you know, what's the block height, the timestamp, you know, and all the details relating to that particular transaction is there. So the next step is for us to add a particular identity details. Let's, let's add a driving license. We're just entering a random number, which we'll assume is the driving license number. Adding the name for the license. We're also adding the date of birth. The address, just quickly add an address. So we'll also have to attach the a copy of the driving license. So we're attaching a copy of the driving license, which is in a JPEG format. So once you add the driving license, another transaction has got created where the driving license has got added to Satish's wallet. So again, we can see the transaction hash. Next thing is that uh, the, the uh, institution, let's assume a bank is requesting uh, Satish for his driving license details as part of their KYC process. So the bank is making the request. Let's name it ABC Bank. So the, the user's blockchain ID is there. So they are they're asking for specific set of details and they request access. So the transaction request or the ID request is now signed using MetaMask. And uh, what happens then is once the request uh, has been given, Satish will be able to view it. So if you see that the list of requests that have come and the status, so the individual has the right to share the kind of information requested for, or he can reject, not share the information that uh, he doesn't want to share. So here, if you see, yeah, the transaction is still being processed. Yes, so ABC Bank is waiting for approval. So when you go there, you can see the kind of information that has been requested for. So driving license name. So you can select the inf information that you want to share. So let's say Satish decides to share uh, four of the five information details. Let's say he doesn't want to share the address. Let's say update access. And again, this transaction gets signed. Basically, the hash gets created for the approval that the user has given for the details to be shared. Again, it's going and the transaction details are there in the hash. Now, if you look at uh, the institution can now click on view access and actually see the information that is being shared. So very safe, secure way of collecting information from a potential applicant. And yeah, so Satish is partially approved. So click on view data, you'll be actually able to see. So these are the things that 
the user has actually uh, approved the organization to see which is license number, name, and all that. So once you click, the, the document that we attach is also visible for the organization to see. Yeah, so we have stored the document in IPFS. So this is a brief demo that we have. This, this particular uh, uh, solution actually is useful for background verification as well as for identity management from a user perspective. Thank you so much.